What's up, everybody? Tuesday. Yes, right? Tuesday, December 12th, 2024. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to be a relatively short program, but you know what? I say that every now and then, and uh, that's not the case. So I'm going to discuss a new challenge that we have for 2024. It's called Lynchpin Lifestyle. And all across 2023, and even I guess into 2022, yeah, we did a monthly challenge, a monthly linchpin challenge, and it was a workout. We started linchpin test one, and we went all the way through linchpin test 14, and we actually kicked all of that off with a 5K challenge, and so that was 15 challenges total. So that was over the course of 15 months. That was awesome. People loved it, and we're shifting a little bit here in 2024. So this is going to be lifestyle things, not so much physical challenges, but don't worry. More physical challenges will be occurring and I'll let you know at the end of that. So this is going to be for people who are part of the Lynchpin community, part of the private track, and they're in the Facebook group or in the BTWB squads feature. And if you're not, sorry, you should be really cool people. But here is the overview of what the Lynchpin lifestyle deal is. So This little blurb will occur. This little blurb you'll see in the BTWB app when you open up the workout of the day in the future. So Lynchpin Lifestyle extends outside the walls of your gym. It's a way of life. It's the gradual pursuit of self-improvement and awareness step-by-step. Small things done in a purposeful manner can lead to big changes. So there's more of a blurb. I won't read you and bore you with it. But basically, each month for 2024, There's going to be a challenge that's not a workout. There'll be a video in which I explain what that challenge is. And it's designed to be something that's going to get you outside of your comfort zone um, and hopefully force a little bit of uh, self-reflection, self-discovery, a little bit of awareness because you're working hard in the gym. But there's a lot of things that go into hopefully optimizing you as a productive, wonderful friendly human being on planet earth that don't happen inside the walls of the gym and so that's what these monthly challenges are going to be a part of so i'm going to post these on thursdays and sundays are traditionally rest days for linchpin right so if you go into the btwb app on thursdays and on sundays that are rest days you're going to see the linchpin lifestyle for 2024 the description of what it is and then there'll be a video describing what that month's challenge happens to entail. And I'm also going to lay out in there the entire year, January, February, March. So you'll be able to see every single thing that's going to happen each month. Okay. And you'll be able to see that right away in January, lay out the whole year. But you won't get the video for that particular month until that month comes up. Um, and there's no cost, there's no nothing, it's just free, right? It's us helping each other as a community to hopefully be better people again and learn a little bit something about ourselves and challenge ourselves in some interesting ways that don't involve a barbell and all that stuff because we do plenty of that. Um, And I'm sure, you know, with a large community, some months are going to be your wheelhouse, going to knock it out of the park, no problem. And then other months, are going to be a struggle for you or whatnot. And that's good, right? Struggle and challenge is good. Some months, even though I don't think you're supposed to like say the word fail in, in 2023 or 2024, some months you might, I don't know, whatever the word you want to choose is, fail a challenge, fall short, have way more bad days than good, whatever it is, but you're struggling and trying to do whatever the monthly challenge is, that's okay. You're a human being. You're not going to be met with success and a perfect batting average every single day on every single challenge. And those months that really challenge you, those are probably really the good ones. So anyway, look for on Thursdays and Sundays. It starts January 2024. And I will post the information on the challenge and the first video and all that um, on one of the final rest days in December. So basically, you'll be able to see what's coming up for January. And I posted these in the Lynchpin squad and BTWB in the private Facebook group, got some feedback from some people, some very useful feedback, massage them a bit. And so they are very similar to what most people have seen, but with a couple just 
uh, slight little changes. So look for that and then share your experiences in the squads feature on the BTWB app and in the private Facebook group and we'll support one another and it should be a fun journey. Um, let's see. Now don't get me wrong. There'll still be physical challenges occurring every now and then sprinkled in through the year 2024. I've got some ones rattling around in my brain that I think would be cool and fun and all that. We're not going to just start back over on Lynchman Test 1 and make our way through that again. There are some different ones and some unique ones that I have in my head that I think will be both, you know, the sort of torture that we enjoy. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. And so those will be sprinkled in through the course of the year, voluntary, of course. And then I think we're just going to make it a thing that every September moving forward, because September 2023 is when it occurred, we're going to do Lynchman Test 13. So just prepare for that. Every September, Lynchpin Test 13. Five miles of running, 210 burpees, wearing a weight vest if you so desire. And if you're unfamiliar with what the exact layout of Test 13 is or all the Lynchpin tests, just go to CrossFitLynchpin.com, click, I think it's Workouts, then click Lynchpin Tests, and you'll be able to see all the tests. And while you're on the website, click ebook and get the free programming ebook. Um, so yeah, I think that that's going to be that. So 2024, we're going to get fit in the gym, in the garage, on your military base, in your school gym, in your apartment, wherever you happen to be. But then we're also going to have these nice monthly mental, personal development challenges and be on the lookout for those Thursdays and Sundays on rest days. And so that's that. Okay, um, let's see. <laughs> ben says, okay, yep, yeah, apparently... Uh, every September for the next 10 years. That's right. Test 13 every September for the rest of your life. Uh, and there's actually a really cool post of somebody, uh, this woman that did Test 13 the last time that we just did it, this most recent September, her thoughts and feelings on how darn hard it was and why that's actually a really good thing for you to do hard things. And I shared that today on my Instagram, the Sherwood 2 and 5 Instagram. So if you want to see what she had to say, which was really cool, Go ahead and check that out. But yeah, that's it. Lynchpin Lifestyle 2024. And I hope that you enjoy it. And I'm going to be all in with you doing every single one of these every month. And as I look at the list right now, there's some that I'm like, ah, I can do that standing on my head. And there's some that I'm like, hmm, that's going to be a challenging month. And again, that's where the benefit comes from. So thanks to everybody for being awesome. Lynchpin is not just... You know, my goal is to make it the most effective, fun, and efficient strength and conditioning program on the planet from a minimalist, minimalist perspective. We don't waste your time. Take care of your knees, back, and shoulders. Do it forever, ever. Become a ferocious beast of fitness. That's always the goal of Lynchman. But as the community has developed and as Lynchman has developed and we've, we've become really something globally linked, there's just more to be done than what happens inside the walls of the gym. And so this is kind of one of the first steps of hopefully helping people in other ways. And so we'll see how it shakes out and we will modify and evolve in the future. I can promise you that. Have a great day. And let's see, Christy says, excited and terrified for the challenge. Yes, I think that's appropriate. So that's the right, that's the right attitude. Have a great day and we'll talk later.